Okay. So, um, you might have remembered in part 8, I, uh, got my pelt, my, uh, igloo coil, coil and, uh, one of the things that, uh, I noticed that was flawed about my design was that the, the lid of it was hollow. It was completely just a big plastic shell filled with air is all it was. So, and that, that was a problem because I'm having the two heat sinks touch each other inside of that lid. And if there's ambient air inside the lid, then that's, uh, really hurting the flow of, you know, heat that I'm trying to achieve here. What I'm trying to do is pump heat out of one side, the inside, and put it out into the other. And if there's heat that's just flowing around inside the hollow lid, that's going to be a problem. So what I did was I uh, found this online, some hardware store. It's some insulation that is safe to use with water, like drinking water or fish, like pond water or anything like that. And it's insulation, it's just a spray can. And uh, this one's all crapped up. I'm never going to be able to get anything out of that again, which is fine. I don't need it anymore. And what I did was I filled the lid full of it. And you might be able to see all this black crap in here. All that is is insulation. And um, hopefully that will help to keep the cold on the cold side and the hot on the top side of the lid and keep, prevent the hot and the cold from circulating inside here. And uh, I need to redrill these holes because they're full of insulation. And uh, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like once I put it back together. And we'll see what happens with that in a few seconds. Okay, so here's my small heat sink. I have it put in here. There's the other end of it. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting two Peltzer units right like that on the surface of it and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire them in series. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two wires, connect them together and use this as my positive and uh, this right here is my negative and um, I'm going to see about how hot the hot side gets then I'm going to wire them in parallel and see how hot the hot side gets with that. I'm also going to be uh, putting some insulation right here. It's I want to do something temporary for right now, so I'm just going to use some electrical tape and uh, just tape this because this is going to be the cold sink. Right, sitting right on top of this is going to be my heat sink, right on top. So I want to get this to be as insulated as possible around the units. And I only have a couple of them, and uh, I'm going to see what that's going to wind up looking like in a second. Alright, so <clears throat> I used a lot of electrical tape, probably probably way more than I needed to, but still, I wanted to be safe. I, um, what I did was I surrounded the Pelter units on top of the heat sinks with this, and uh, now no heat is going to leak around them, hopefully. Somebody's calling me. So now, this ought to be very, very insulated. The only way that the heat can go off the top of this is straight into the, the heat sink. And the heat sink won't leak the heat back into the cold heat sink on the bottom. And uh, I'm going to try to put it all back together and see what happens. Alright, so this is my new and improved system. It's... Um, I put the Peltier units in here. They are wired directly under there. Um, one thing I really, really just figured out like an hour ago is I noticed when I was redoing this that some things weren't adding up. For example, like, um, see how submerged that cold plate is underneath there? And, um, you see this right here? This used to be the screw hole for this screw right here. And, Look at how far apart those handle pieces are. Something happened, I just figured this out like an hour ago, right after the last section of this video. Whenever I put insulation in here, it expanded the fuck out of this lid. And it can barely fit on here anymore. And it's really distorted everything. So, I I've kind of messed up. I don't know. There was no way I could have possibly foreseen that, I don't think. 
because I didn't realize the chemical process that happens basically the there's still liquid insulation in here because it can't get any air like it's just trapped in there and it's all expanded the hell out of this lid I'll probably never get the original shape back but it's okay there's nothing really wrong with this shape I mean the lid actually fits tighter and that's that's actually not a bad thing at all so it's producing a little bit of warmth right now this heat sink is feeling nice and warm um, a couple other things I modified uh, about a week ago that I didn't show you uh, where is it right here is a little bit of fish tank tubing and here's the top of it what I did was I drilled the hole in the bottom of here so that whenever I fill this whole tank up th there's gonna be a line of water somewhere in here that'll tell me about how full it is a lot of coffee makers have this uh, that tells you how full the coffee maker is before you turn it on it's very similar to that one other thing I did was I put this amount of the switch right on top of it so it'll be just easier to access instead of somewhere way out here and uh, I've got the thermo the little um, probe is somewhere where the hell is it yeah I also buried that inside the cooler and it's way down in there so, I started this process around like 7.45, about a couple hours later I'm going to check back and see how cold it is inside. I don't expect it to be too cold because I've only got two Peltier units hooked up to this. We're going to see later about how cold it gets. It should, it should be about, I don't know, refrigerator temperature is what I'm hoping for. And, uh, that'll probably be the next segment of this. I'm actually probably just going to go ahead and upload this video while I'm waiting. And, um, don't expect this to work yet, though. I'm completely an amateur at this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. So don't expect a whole lot. If anybody has any suggestions of something I could do to really amp it up a little bit, let me know. I'm still working it out. I'm still testing. I'm still experimenting. And that's all I have to say for right now. Meanwhile, I'm just going to upload this video while I figure out how cold it's going to get inside this thing. And that's it. I'll see y'all later.